Right, uh, I'm joined by uh, George Bagula, who is an associate producer of The Sims 3 Console Edition. So thanks very much for taking some time, George. It's good to meet you. Hi, great to meet you. Um, so busy times. You're just about to roll out in the next uh, five days or so? Yeah, it's all next week. I'm excited. Excellent. And it's coming out on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, Wii and DS, yes? Yes. Excellent. Um, so, The Sims is no stranger to consoles. Sims 2 was on, was on the consoles as well, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, and it's... Uh, multiple versions. Mm -hmm. And it's, it just takes, I guess, it takes a little bit longer to get uh, everything organized for all the other consoles, for, as opposed to the PC. Oh, well, there, yeah, there's additional time to, uh, you know, build it specifically for each console and then add the extra features that we've added. And then what would be the main differences that, between the PC version and the various kind of console versions? Well, I actually like this question a lot because uh, uh, what I think a lot of our fans are concerned about is is that we lost some of the stuff from The Sims 3. Yeah. What I'm really happy to say for uh, this version of the consoles, everything from The Sims 3 on the PC is there. Okay. And then we've had time to add some really cool new features like Karma Powers. We yeah. um, integrated our content exchange directly into the game. So, you know, you'll be playing in cast and you'll be able to download assets right from uh, The Sims Exchange into your game there. Um, and there's a bunch of challenges and achievements, trophies, all, all kinds of stuff that you can earn that are really console specific. Excellent. And the, the karma system specifically seems like a very, very interesting one. Um, were there any uh, main influences besides the fact that it's cool that, uh, put, decide, that you decided to put it into the console version? Is there, is there something specific to consoles that you felt it would work better? Or so that you just had the extra time? Well, uh, well... You let off greatly. Like it is very cool. That, that's what we really wanted to do. Uh, we found that we wanted to give people an opportunity to get to that cool stuff um, as soon as they want. Uh, the systems in there, you earn these karma power, uh, karma points that you spend on these powers, and you're able to just go in, um, uh, fire off a meteor shower, raise ghosts, you know, resurrect a sim. Uh, things that um, this, some of those powers are based off the of stuff that was in the Sims 3, but was really hard to get to, and, and for the more experienced player but now some of the um, other players who, who don't have time to put in you know hours and hours of gameplay can actually go in there and see these cool things as well excellent uh, I, was, I was um I, I wouldn't normally be a sims player i will confess but uh, i dug it out last night on my pc and um installed it at you know the, two o'clock in the morning or something. Suddenly it was 4 a.m. I was like, oh, God, I got work to go to. But it's, it's one of those games is that you just sort of get sucked into it. Um, what's it like working on one of the, a game like that, that, that millions of people play, that's definitely one of the most popular games in the world? Well, uh, I mean, it, it's great. Uh, a lot of people do play it, so there's a lot of pressure there because yeah. you definitely want to make something that uh, your fans are really going to enjoy. Yeah. Uh, but that's also a great part about it is, is we have this huge thriving community. I mean, uh, you probably have a lot of people on your forums uh, who, who sit there and, and they'll talk about this game. It's because it's a game that everyone can go in and they can play it how they would like to play it. Um, the experience is different for everyone. Like uh, you were playing at 2 o'clock last night. Yeah. You know, they had a completely different experience than you know, someone else, uh, what, what I was playing last weekend. Mm. Um, so it allows a, a lot of... A lot of uh, play styles to go in there. Um, I'm thrilled to be working on it. it. It's a different game than anything I've worked on before, and I've been, I've been working on uh, The Sims games for quite a few years, and I've enjoyed all of it. Excellent. Um, and one of the, the things you used to work on before uh, and uh, was, was the Battlefield um, franchise. You were on Battlefield 2. Uh, do you miss it? I mean, uh, obviously a very different challenge. Uh, th that's exactly what it was. I was on Battlefield from 1942 through mm -hmm. all the, the projects into Battlefield 2. Um, uh, and I think it was just time for me to go on and try a different challenge. Mm -hmm. The Sims, uh, a, a completely different type of game, had a hugely different audience. And I was able to tackle those challenges and, and bring uh, you know fun gameplay to it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I wouldn't say I, I miss Battlefield. I think it was a great time in my life. But The Sims is definitely uh, fabulous. Now here, I, I'm uh, able to work with a great number of people, work, uh, work for... Mm -hmm. uh, games that are widely diverse if you've seen a lot of expansion packs yep. console yeah. games the new one we're able to innovate all the time and bring stuff that people just love excellent what what would be the future should we say for sims of you anything radically different in mind or is it you're going to keep working on this basic same theme that here is a person you run their life well uh the sims well 
every game we do, we're, we're able to do new things. Um, uh, as you can see in, in the console game, we were able to add, to, because you had the Sims 3 uh, PC game, which is what we're bringing, and that was one of our main goals. But we're able to add on to that. We're able to add these carbon powers. Um, I did a lot of the online stuff in the integrated exchange, and that was just innovation there. Um, we're always tweaking the gameplay to get it to be more fun, and uh, and there's always new things around the corner. I, I don't expect us to ever really stand still in this uh, mm. label. Excellent. And just uh, you mentioned the the um, the online the, the marketplace sort of stuff. You've integrated that now into the console. Um, will that all be interchangeable between all platforms? So if somebody has created uh, something uh, via their PC mode that they can bring that into their Xbox or their PlayStation, or will it be specific to each platform? No, what we're doing is um, each uh, platform has their own exchange. So, mm -hmm. you know, you're a 360 player, you're a PS, uh, PS3 player, you're able to build your creations and share them within that console community. Mm -hmm. And that way we really give people a chance to develop, um, you know, creative stars in their own uh, console community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you'll have really great um, uh, players in each of those consoles who are able to show off their stuff. Excellent. And just bringing it to the console is when one of the big challenges is you don't have a mouse and a keyboard anymore. So how is it to, to and this is I think one of the big challenges any developer faces bringing anything to a console is, is how do you get around the, the, the pad? Um, I mean it's not the worst interface in the world but it's, it's well you wouldn't say it was ideal so how has that been? Well I Anytime you start on a new console, you have a new uh, controller to work with, and you have your new, new set of challenges. Even the PC uh, has its challenges with mm -hmm. the mouse and keyboard. With uh, the controllers, we were able to actually adapt a really intuitive uh, control interface. Um, I, I play the game almost every day. Uh, I, it's now second nature to me that um, I go through. I could navigate just as quickly play just as quickly. Yeah. Um, I have control over all my Sims. Uh, I don't know how many uh, Sims you were playing with, but I often play with up to six on... Oh, uh, God, I, I, I don't have trouble with just one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, uh, six Sims is, is a mm, challenge in itself, absolutely. but the controls adapt really well. And actually, one of the things I really love about this control scheme is I can sit on my couch and play it. Yeah, that's that's pretty handy. I mean, it's it's nice now that it's going to be moving away from the kind of the desk and onto the couch and onto your nice big telly, and you can see that fabulous house that you spent six hours building in all its glory. You know, um, yeah. that's definitely one of the appeals, I'm sure, for for bringing uh, this to the console. Was there any other kind of um, visual sort of tricks that you may have uh, implemented with the console now that you typically you might have a bigger screen and you're you're going to be working in high def. Oh, well, um, that's a great thing because the PC game itself was, was high def, but the console game, I mean, the 360 and, and the PS3, HD, I mean, it brings it all there, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I get to play in full 1080p, and I have to say, it looks amazing, you know. When we're developing, we're playing on these little tiny screens yeah. here, mm -hmm. but I got to, you know, take it home and play it there on my, you know, massive screen, <laughs> and it holds up just as well. It looks beautiful, you know. Uh, Everyone in my household is looking at it. Just you know, you hear the hoos and ahs. They're like, "Wow, that just looks amazing." You know? And my TV can't take all the credit for that. No, no. <laughs> I suppose not. Were there, did the the team have any console in particular that they enjoyed developing for more than others, or was it all we just we have to get it rolled out for everyone? So. Well, I don't think there's a preference. I'm a, when we we build these, we build them at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, I actually love that we get to work on both of them because I get to sit here for you know uh, a couple of years working on this game, and I get both consoles right there in my uh, cube, so I get to play on them all the time. I've been trying play. to convince the boss to do the same for me, but it hasn't worked out yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you've got uh, we're rolling out for the Wii, and that's obviously got its own unique sort of interface. Um, I, I hate to draw comparisons, but it just so happens that Sony and Microsoft are releasing new kind of control mechanisms as well in the Move and Connect. Are there any plans to work with that for The Sims, or are you just going to stick with the control pad? Oh, I actually don't know too much about that. Um, okay. I've been focused solely on the HD sure. platforms, and that's what we're sort of talking about here. Um, I, I couldn't give you any insight into okay. the Wii controls. No, that's fine. I just thought I, it just occurred to me. I thought I should throw that in. <laughs> um, well, I think that covers more or less all of uh, what we wanted to say. Um, any final words of encouragement for future Sims players? No, I just say um, look for the game next week. You know, it's October twenty sixth in North America, twenty mm -hmm. ninth in Europe. 
uh, check out The Sims, especially if uh, you have not had a chance to play Sims 3. This is the perfect way to, mm. to get your feet wet in the world of The Sims. Excellent. All right, George McGoola, thank you very much for your time. Much appreciated. All right. Thank you very much. Cheers, thanks.